episode we made our way to straighten city guys where we are ready to take on the first gym yes guys we're about to take on the first gym challenge but before we go ahead and do that let's take a look at the results of the working and twerking grinding montage because we are looking sexy as fuck yes guys i decided since we're going to be taking on the gym and I don't want to look ahead and see what Pokemon that we could potentially be coming up against, I decided to go ahead and uh, grind our Pokemon up a couple of levels to make sure we are edging on the side of caution. Because as we know from the trainers that we faced already, like N, for example, their leveled Pokemon are always quite high. So I went ahead and leveled everyone up to level 16. So first of all, we have our Adam Dratini. Have fun. Who has now got Pokerust? That Pokemon virus is spread around like the common cold but the moveset is one move change we've got dragon rage in there instead of rap i think it was which is going to be absolutely fantastic because as i've said before i don't know if it was in this lp or another one dragon rage is so op to start with because it takes off a guaranteed 40 hp damage then it is going to be absolutely invaluable for the starting 
the starting couple of gyms and trainers. So we've got Dragon Rage, Thunder, Wave, Dragon Pulse, and Extreme Speed on our Dratini. Moving on, we have Boo. Boo was the hatch in the previous episode for the Pan Pour, which was level 10. So she, the only female in the party, has gone up six levels. Astonish, Nightshade, Haze, and Disable are the moveset. They're not particularly great moveset as of yet, except that Haze. Haze is going to be absolutely invaluable, so hopefully we can keep hold of her. Moving on, we have got our little RV. Little RV is level 16 with superpower, seed bomb, earth power, and growth. Superpower is absolutely monstrous, and I am loving that moveset. So thank you very much, everyone who sent in Pokemon. And finally, we have got Muppet. Muppet the Shuppet, who has got a great moveset there with Nightshade, Shadow Sneak, Gunk Shot, and Pursuit. So the team is looking really good, so thank you very much who, to the people who have sent in these Pokemon. I'm really enjoying the team so far, but first of all, we need to speak to Cheren because Cheren is here inside the Pokemon uh, tutorial room, so we're going to see what he is up to. Hello, Cheren. How are you doing, my friend? Hey, when a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it is battling. Oh, hey, sugar tea. Have you come looking for the gym leader? Why, yes, Cheren, I have. Me and the boys and girls watching this video cannot wait to kick their ass. Usually it's uh, males, aren't they? What are they? Chili, Silen, and... Or is it Silen? I can't remember. I think it's Silen. I can't remember the other guy's name. So maybe they're actually going to be females since we're gender bending like fuck in this game. So, yes to answer you, Chevin. Yes, we are looking for the gym leader. He was there talking about Pokemon tabs just a few moments ago. Maybe you walked past him. By the way, Sugar Tea, will you have a battle with me? I just got this cool electric tap Pokemon. Okay, Chevin, let's have a battle. Well, let's see how effective the electric tap is. Or maybe I should test how well my star I can battle. Anyway, this is an indoor match. So let's battle without getting too rough. <laughs> Wink. Okay, Cheren, let's do this. Let's go ahead and battle real quick. Okay, so Cheren is going to be... Ooh, you're going to be sending it. I love that skirt. That hair is fantastic. Cheren... Uh, Sharon. Maybe we should call him Sharon. Sharon is sending a Tepic at level 13. Okay, so that is quite high level. That's a nice leap from the trainers we were fighting before. Let's just go straight for the Dragon Rage. That might one-hit KO the Tepic, but we'll have a look when the Dragon Rage is off. Oh, it held on, it held on, and it's using an Orenberry. That's fine. He's going to go for the tackle and we'll be able to move on quite quickly. Pokemon on both sides. Tire. Try so hard. Extreme speed. Let's get rid of this Tepig. No problems at all. There we go. Have fun. The Dratini absolutely smacking the fuck out of that Tepig. And we can move on. Now, he's probably going to use an electric type. That's what he said, didn't he? He said electric is what he's going to be using next. So let's send in RV, which should be able to eat up any electric types that may come his way. Full disclosure, guys, for the working and twerking grinding montage, it was split into two little parts. The very first part, if you noticed closely enough, the XP totals were absolutely ridiculously little. So what I went ahead and did was uh, put on a, a double EXP code. So I doubled the, the EXP code to make sure that working and twerking grinding montage went a little bit faster for us because um, I, don't, I just don't have time. I'm working three jobs and... Uh, I want to get the videos out. I want to get the videos out constantly. And the only way I can do that was popping on the XP code. I hope, I hope you guys are not too offended by that. Um, it was just something that I just needed to do to get on with the game. And I hope that's okay with you. So let me know in the comment section below whether or not you don't want me to do that in the future. To be honest, I'm, I'm just going to be grinding anyway. And when it gets to a certain point, I'm level... I'm, I'm level 13, the Pokemon I'm fighting against are level 4, because I had no, there was nowhere else for me to grind, literally nowhere else. I tried to get out of the village to try and fight some higher level Pokemon, and they just wouldn't let me pass. So, I was just going to be there forever, I was never going to die against them because I was too powerful, so I wasn't risking anything there. So, I hope you're okay with that, I hope you're okay with that, but let me know in the comment section below what you think. It just makes things go quicker and I can get more episodes out. Anyway, so learning to use items as well is definitely important then. Oh, here, sugar tea. I'll give you some berries. Thank you very much for the orange berries. They'll come in handy for the gym battle. If you give them a Pokemon this kind of berry to hold, they will eat it up to heal when its HP goes down in battle. But if you give Pokemon man-made items like potions to hold, they can't use them. They haven't got the opposable thumbs. Well, good luck then. Okay, thank you very much, Cheren, for that. Let's just... Oh, we are so fucking fast. Oh, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. We are like Usain Bolt. Let's heal up real quick and let's move on to the gym. Now, guys, I am kind of worried about this because 
in the, the, all the notes that came with this game, they said that the game was going to be absolutely brick hard, so I'm not looking forward to this. Yes, yes, I am the gym leader of this town. You are... I'm Razbowski, motherfucker! Right, you want to challenge the gym? Oh, oh, actually, I'm actually Sugar Tea. I keep forgetting, I've gender-bended in this game to fit in with everybody else. I am Sugar Tea. Right, you want to challenge the gym? In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Snivy. Snivy. I see. It's weak against fire type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. Okay, thank you very much, Silent. In the anime, all you talk about is the delectable, delicious dishes that you create. Okay, oh. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guard for the train that's challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenge in the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. Thank you very much for the fresh water. I am one thirsty motherfucker. Okay, so let's make our way through. So we've got a fire curtain up there. So we want to dive straight on the water pad. And that will mean we will be able to jump through easy as pie. Okay, so who do we want out front? I kind of want RV to evolve, so let's put RV out front. RV's going to evolve soon, so let's just jump out front. Oh, look at this bastard over here wanting to challenge us. When I am not battling, I like to play Call of Duty on my Xbox. Piao, 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 teabag the motherfuckers. Okay, excellent. <laughs> nice extra little bit of dialogue. This guy likes to play Call of Duty. Um, what? Waiter Maxwell is sending out Trico first, and we have got RV in the front. Okay, so RV, what do we want to do against this Trico? Let's just go for the Earth Power. I'm, I don't think that's going to be very powerful at all, but we will just do it anyway. Oh, that was absolutely terrible. Let's just go for the, the, the superpower, hopefully take it out in this one hit, and then be able to move on nicely. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good. That Trico has gone! 500 experience all the way up to level 18. Thank you very much. Maxwell's about to send in something. Let's switch up and... I don't know. Let's just leave RV in. Torchic! Okay, that was not a good move. Um, is it going to have a fire move? I think we'll be able to take any fire move that Torchic at level 11 will take. We're level fucking 18, yo! We're level 18, let's use Earth Power on it. One hit KO, does not matter. 500 experience, excellent work. And it's going to send in a final Pokemon, which is probably going to be Mudkip. It is Mudkip. And we're just going to seed bomb that bitch to death. Look how happy it is until it gets bombed. Oh, poor little guy. Level 19 RV! That is absolutely fantastic. Okay. <laughs> First person shooters are that guy's favorite type of game. Okay, so we have got RV. Oh, little RV is evolving. Oh, that is fantastic. Excellent work. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect shit here. Let's get this guy evolving. Oh, I love it. I love it. Wait. Wait a minute. I think we we were we were getting far too much experience there. I've forgotten to take off the EXP code, guys. I've forgotten to take off the fucking EXP code. Apologies for that. I will do that right now. We've evolved into a scrotal, though. That is excellent. Let's go straight into here. We should still be recording. We are excellent. So I'll go into cheats. <laughs> I'll go into uh, list. I'm just going to take off this code here real quickly. That EXP code. Sorry about that, guys. I totally forgot. That is completely my fault. I was just finished the grinding. And I was like, let's just dive straight into the battles and get on with it. But here we go. We can get straight back into it. We have evolved into a Grottle now, which is going to be good. So let's move him out. Level 19. That's going to be fantastic for the gym. Actually, probably not. RV is probably going to be pretty useless for the gym due to the typing. Um, grass type and we're going to be against fire. So it doesn't matter. It's over leveled for this gym anyway. Let's put in Muppet first. Muppet's got the Focus Sash so we can take anything on that comes our way with, uh, without too much trouble at all. The speciality of Straight and Jim, the full course Trainer Deluxe. I am your second curse. Okay then, girlfriend, let's go for it. I love you, Waitress Tia. Okay, so Turtwig is coming out first, um, which we already have one of, little RV. Oh, here we go, Muppet. Let's go straight for the Gunk Shot, because if we can hit the Gunk Shot, then this will be one hit KO, and we have no problem against the Turtwig. Level 16, we are not too bad at all. We might be a little bit over-leveled, so what should we go for next? Let's just leave Muppet in. Muppet will be able to take on this Chimchar without too much issues. Let's go for the Shadow Sneak. 
and uh, hopefully that does. Oh, one hit KO. Thank you very much. That's the adamant nature pulling through there. And finally, we have got Piplup, which is going to be no problems at all. Again, let's just go for the shadow sneak. And is it going to be one hit KO? Not quite. But the bubble is going to do next to nothing to us. Speed fell, but that's fine because we've got the priority shadow sneak. So that is excellent work there. Perfect, 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 perfect. We are in good position for the gym. We are in a good position, not where we're in good position for gym. We are in good position for gym. Where's the fucking the grammar there, Rasbowski? Get the grammar right. Okay, let's quickly jump out and we want to go and heal because we want to be in the strongest position for the gym as possible. Okay, okay, I'm kind of nervous, guys. I'm kind of nervous. I'm, I'm, I've got a funny feeling that these guys that we've just battled against the level 11s, the level 13s are just going to be a warm-up. They're just going to be a warm-up and we're going to come up against something that we really do not expect. Now, we're probably going to be against Chili because uh, we picked up Snivy first, so uh, who should we bring in first? We've got Muppet up first. I think we're just going to keep Muppet in there f straight away because we've got the Shadow Sneak. We'll be able to get a bit of damage straight away no matter what comes up first and uh, we should be able to get on with that. No problems at all. Okay, actually, 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 we just got some orange berries off Cherin, didn't we? Look at all those, all those juicy rare candies. Those juicy, juicy candies. So let's give an orange berry to Boo. Let's give an orange berry to have fun, and f it won't have any effect. What? Oh, I, I was trying to use it, not give it. Okay. S silly me, silly me, and let's give RV one as well. Oh, the all-powerful RV. And let's go up here and speak to them. Welcome to the Straight and City Pokemon Gym. Oh, where the fuck that bitch come from? I'm chilly. I light things up with fire-type Pokemon. I'm the water-type specialist. My name is Chris. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. And my name is Silent. I like grass-type Pokemon. Love all the fancy spins. Um, you see, as for why the three of us um are all here as well. Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, this guy just needs to fucking stop stirring. Oh, enough! Listen up. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It's based on the type of Pokemon you first chose. Indeed, that is the case. And the partner you chose first was a Grass type, it seems. Okay, so we're fighting Chili. Tada! The Fire type Scorcher Chili lads, me will be your opponent. Okay, let's get on with it. We are ready, so let's just fucking battle this bitch. Yow! Time to play with fire. I'm the strongest of us brothers. Well, I hope that isn't the case, because I will have fucked up there, but it doesn't matter. It would really have been nice if we managed to pick up a water Pokemon. I'm sure a few of you guys have sent in... Poliwags. It's a shame that we've not picked up one for this gym, but there we go. We got Lillipup in first. Okay, so we got lucky there with the Muppet coming out first. So let's just hit it up with a Pursuit, or should we go for Gunk Shock? Let's go for Gunk Shock. Hopefully, get the poison off. Oh, it's got bite. Oh shit! I should have known that. I should have known. And it fucking flinched. Okay, so it didn't take off anywhere near as much health. Uh, okay, it's using Work Up. Work Up will kill us next time. Workup will kill us. We need to use Pursuit. We need to take off a decent amount of damage here. This Lillipup is setting up on us. That is not good. As if that would work on my Pokemon. Okay, fuck. Okay, 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 okay. The Workup, the Workup, the Workup, the Workup is a danger there. Let's go. Let's use a Potion. And let's see what he's going to use next. Because I don't think, as long as he doesn't get a crit here, the Bite should not kill us. I want to see how much this does. Damage wise. Oh, it's just it's just too much. We got the curse body. Bite was disabled. We got the curse body off. Bite was disabled. Okay, okay, we got a bit of luck there. Let's put on the potion. Hopefully, all it'll be able to do is work up next. If it just works up, then we'll be able to hopefully do a bit of damage. It's just using work up. We have to kill this guy because as soon as Bite is undisabled, we are in trouble. But the curse body will do us nicely for now. Okay. That's good. Let's speed through this a little bit. Nope, we don't want to go to bag. We want to go up to fight and we want to use pursuit. Get as much. Oh, let's use some work up again. Oh, let's just speed through the work up. We don't want to see that. We don't want to see it getting more powerful. We need to get rid of this guy. Come on. Come on. We need one. Oh, it's using a fucking orange berry. Okay, please, please still be. Okay. Okay, so it's still disabled. That curse body came in so much handy there. 
perfect, Muppet. Absolutely perfect. Finish it off. Finish it off. Finish it. Oh, it's still there. It's no longer disabled. It's no longer disabled. Right, okay. There's been far too many workups here. There has been far too many workups. We need RV in here. RV should be able to come in and take any hit that this... This little fucking dog will use. Okay, so she's in a potion. Okay, so that's going to give us a little bit more time. Okay, but that workup is dangerous. Let's go for the superpower. Can we outspeed? No, we do not outspeed. Please hold on with this bite. Oh, we ate that up. Nom, 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 nom. Absolutely juicy. There we go. We've taken out Chili's first Pokemon. Unfortunately, RV is now going to be weakened uh, due to the side effects of the superpower. But that's fine. That Lillipup is gone, and that is all we need. So, sending out something. We want to switch over. Let's put Muppet back in. Hopefully Muppet can get at least get a Shadow Sneak off on whatever's coming up next and we can move on. That's the thing though, if one Pokemon had Bite, does that mean other Pokemon? Charmeleon is coming in next. Let's go for the Shadow Sneak. I want to see how much damage this does first. Level 16 Charmeleon, holy shit Chili, holy shit I'm so glad. Oh it is using Bite, it is using Bite, it is using Bite, holy fuck. That's too powerful yo, too fucking powerful. We need to get you out of there, Charmeleon. It's going to ruin us at this rate. We've got Boo, who's going to be weak to, to the biting moves as well. We've got RV, that's going to be weak to any fire-type moves that are going to come its way. And we've got Have Fun here. That is just not defensively strong enough. Let's take a risk. Let's hope it's going to go for a bite again, because Muppet is in here. And let's bring in RV, and hopefully be able to get off a move. So, we've got Bite coming in here. We should be able to take that, no problem at all. And let's go for the Earth Power. The Earth Power should be super effective. It's using Metal Claw for some reason. What's that going to take off? Absolutely fuck all. Let's go for the Earth Power. Come on, RV! Let's see if we can do this. Oh, yeah! Did it hold on? It held on! It fucking held on. Let's go for an Earth Power, just in case he tries to heal up. It's using Fire Pledge. Hold on, RV. Hold on, RV. Hold on. Okay, that was good. That was a real good... The Orin Berry kicks in. Thank you very much. And then we finish it off with the Earth Power. Thank... Thank Arceus I decided to grind, guys. Thank Arceus I decided to grind, because that was absolutely insane what just happened there. I did not like that. I did not like that at all. That is a lot of fucking... That Charmeleon at level 16 came out of... That was left field, that was. So we've got something coming in next. Let's bring in... Let's bring in Have Fun. Let's bring in Have Fun. Clean switch in for Have Fun to get off some damage, either with Extreme Speed or Dragon Rage. If we can get the Dragon Rage off, actually. A clean 40 HP? That's quite good. So we've got Hounder up next so well we can't use our ghost pokemon against that guy can we now so we're gonna get the dragon rage off real quick we have got a really weak team to to this guy oh and there we go the nice clean one hit ko have fun i am having so much fun guys and chili's about to send in something we will not switch up for this final pokemon and it's a pan seer now pan seers don't tech generally have a lot of hp so let's go straight for the dragon rage again and hopefully grab the oh so sweet fifth a oh, fifth badge? <laughs> don't know where I got that from. I'm way ahead. Oh, it held on. It held on. Oh, it held on with... Must have been one HP, but work up. That's going to be absolutely nothing, you little monkey fuck. As we dive in with one more Dragon Rage, which we learned at level 15. And hopefully that will be the first gym badge of our Pokemon Pitch Black Adventure. But we were close to losing Pokemon there, guys. It was only because RV was so fucking tanky that we got anywhere. You got me. I I'm burnt out. Yeah. There, look at those Pokemon levels, guys. We could have been absolutely destroyed there, but thank fuck I grinded. Worked and twerked my ass off. Whoa. You're on fire. Well, it's the Pokemon League's rule. Take this gym badge. And there we go, guys. There's the very first badge of our adventure. That is absolutely fantastic. Oh, I'll put that in my case. I will put that right in my face. Fucking case. Yes, guys. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Okay, we trained the trio badge from Chili. Gym badge is a proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge, Pokemon including traded up Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. We also want you to have this TM83 workup. Um, yep, you use that quite a lot, so I could have guessed that you'd be using that. TM83 contains workup. If you use workup, the Pokemon's attack and special attack will go up. Oh, by the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want, which is probably one of the best implementations into Pokemon games I have ever seen. That is insane. Let's... Actually, let's just come here. 
And we'll end off the episode as we go and heal up real quick. Oh shit, somebody wants to come and speak to us. This is what I was worried up. Hey there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. Okay, so we're gonna have to follow this fucking bitch right now. Okay, so... You're going to meet all of the Pokemon in the Unova region, am I right? Yes. Oh, uh, the stairs are right here. Oh, fucking hell. My room is upstairs. Come on, go upstairs. Okay, this girl's taking us upstairs to her room. This is fantastic. Oh, like I said, I'm Fennel, and as you can see, I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. Okay, let's get on with it. So, I'll give you something to help you. This is a hidden machine for you. HMO one cut. So she's taken me to her bedroom and she's given me a cut. Fantastic. There are some moves that Pokemon can use even when it is not fighting. With this hidden machine, you can teach your Pokemon a move called cut. It can cut down a small tree. And as you could do, yes, yes, yes. Isn't that great? It's difficult to make a Pokemon forget a hidden move once it learns it. And I'd like to ask you a favor too. There's a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Straighten City. I'd like some dream mist that comes off a Pokemon called Mana gives off. With that, I'll be able to use the Game Sync to collect some files from various trainers okay so we've been given our next mission and guys we're gonna end off the episode there we have grabbed that oh so sweet first gym badge in our pokemon pitch black adventure it was touch and go let's quickly check out our pokemon muppet was down at 21 hp rv was getting low as well but have fun and boo who never appeared are are doing great dragon rage it was that charmeleon that really scared me level 16 charmeleon so we leveled up our pokemon to a decent uh to a decent point so that was nice and juicy let me know guys what you think of the exp code being on for the working and twerking grinding montage not in the episodes like i forgot today for that very first battle so i apologize for that and uh but I don't think it made too much of a difference anyway, because Grottle would have lived those hits anyway. But thank you very much for watching, guys. It, I'm just so chuffed. I'm so chuffed that we got through the very first badge there without too much trouble at all. It was touch and go for a bit, but we got there in the end. Guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, as we grab that oh so sexy first badge, then please drop a like. If you're not already subscribed, then please go ahead and subscribe. And either way, guys, I will see you in the next episode. I've been Razbowski. You've been the wonderful bastards, as always, for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye.